You were not a mistake. You were not an accident. You were here for a reason. I know you're going through some hard times. I know life at times might feel rough or you might feel weird or things might be frustrating, but it's not going to always be like this. Your condition is not your conclusion. I've got to just take maybe five minutes to kind of just unpack my story so that you have an idea of who I am and why I speak with the passion that I speak with. There was a time when I was in a really dark place. You know, my mom had me when she was 16 years old. I grew up without my biological father in my life. I struggled with years for drug and alcohol abuse. And I just found myself in a really, really, really weird and dark place. I had to repeat the seventh grade. And when the eighth grade came around, I'll never forget hearing at a parent-teacher conference, a teacher tell my mom that I was a high school material. And I came to tell you that words are powerful. And when I heard that statement, I remember feeling like, wow, you know, like I am really, really a failure, you know? Like it's one thing to tell a student, hey, okay, you're about to graduate from high school, you're not college material, you're not gonna go to an Ivy League, maybe you should go to a, a, a tech school. Like I've heard that, right? Like different people have different paths, but, but how do you tell middle school kids that they're not ready for high school? Like it affected me. And I'll never forget going that next year, and uh, after a series of events, a lot of fighting, a lot of struggling, that school ended up kicking me out. They got all bent out of shape because I cut the electricity off. The next year I went to another school, got the report card at the end of the year, and because I did not do well and I did not put good in, when I got that final report card, all S, one C. And my mom is this tall, but when she gets mad, she turns into the hole, you know? And I'm thinking like, this is not gonna be pretty. But I came up with a plan. I said, you know what, I'm gonna change my grade. So I went to the library, I got that white out, I brushed off all the F's in the C, I took a fancy pen and a ruler, and I put those small little dots and lines, and I gave myself all A's and two B's. Then I made a copy of it. And as soon as I got home, I gave it to my mom. She took one glance and was like, boy, where your real report card at? I said, mom, let me explain. She said, no, no, I don't wanna hear it. I know what happened. I said, you do? She said, yes. You probably lost it, how you always lose stuff, and you went to the office, and they had to make a copy of theirs on file. I said, yo, yo, you be knowing, mama. She's like, I'm not. I'm like, you know everything. She's like, I know. But at the end of that summer, at the end of that summer when my real report card came in, it was really rough. I never forget, like, when I first tricked my mom and she saw it, she was like, I'm so proud of you. She started crying. I even got emotional. I was like, I told you, mama, I'm gonna make you proud. She hugging me, I'm hugging her. We got like a breakthrough. And you're probably wondering, like, Jerry, why were you crying? Like, you know you didn't really earn all A's and two B's. Well, for the first time in a long time, I didn't feel like a failure. Like, I actually felt successful, like, worthy, like, I felt like I was good enough, and so I, that was a bit of emotional moment. But it wasn't real because I didn't really earn those grades. Now, when my school sent my river park at home, and my mom saw it, she was in denial. Uh-uh, my baby man, A's and B's, so she called the school. I was like, ooh, hang up the phone, mama, hang up the phone. And again, she's in tears. But now, what was once tears of joy, now it's tears of sorrow, tears of pain, tears of frustration. And she's trying to figure out, like, I wish my baby would just get it together and I was so hurt, but I felt stuck. I was depressed. I was tired. I was struggling. I felt like I was an accident. Like, what's the purpose of life? Like, why am I here? You know, I felt like I wasn't, I couldn't fit in. When it was time to read, I didn't want to read because somebody was going to tease me because I wasn't a good reader. We was always getting a fight. People was bullying me. Then there was a time when I was a bully. Like, I just struggled and I was like, what's the point of it all? And my mom's a great mom, so she moved me to another school. So now I'm at, I'm at the school now called Huntsville High. This is my third school for the ninth grade. Now I'm at this new school, and I don't know how to explain it to you, but I got a group of teachers, I felt like they were weird. They were saying stuff like, Jeremy, we believe in you. I'm like, me? One teacher was like, oh yeah, Jeremy Anderson, I'm top my man, ah, this is gonna be the best year ever. I'm like, okay. One teacher, I had to ask him, I was like, wait a second, y'all are way too enthusiastic. Did y'all get my transcripts? Like, y'all got the right Jeremy? They was like, yep, we got the right Jeremy, but you're in a new season now. 
So you don't have to worry about the past. I was like, yeah, but you do know about last year. Yep. I said, you know, this is my third school. They was like, we're not worried about that again, Jeremy. You're in a new season now. So let's not bring old things into a new season. And they began to speak life to me. They began to encourage me. They began to affirm me. And because I was young and I was immature, I kind of felt like, well, you don't really understand my story. You don't come with where I come from. And I try to build a wall up. But you know what knocked that wall down? It's love. You know what knocked that wall down? It was perseverance. You know what knocked that wall down? It was like unwavering commitment and support. And I realized you can be black, white, purple, blue, green. We need each other. And if you're showing up because you believe in me and you see great things inside me, like maybe, just maybe I could do great things. Your mindset, your belief system is everything. And it is so powerful. And so I came all the way from Atlanta, Georgia to tell you, you are not a mistake. You are not an accident. You are here for a reason. I know you're going through some hard times. I know life at times might feel rough or you might feel weird or things might be frustrating, but it's not going to always be like this. Your condition is not your conclusion. There is so much more that's going to take place. There is so much more power that's inside you. If you make up in your mind, I choose to believe that I can do great things. And I promise you, my young friends, I got to a point in life when I was like, man, I got these teachers. They must really care. Like when you start having teachers that get diagnosed with cancer, but they still show up to school. One of my teachers had arthritis so bad, she couldn't even write on the chalkboard. Other teacher was going through a divorce. Another one that just buried her child. I'm looking at all these teachers that's going through life just like you, just like me, but they kept showing up. So something inside my brain said, maybe I am worth it. Something inside me said, maybe I can do great things. For them to jump through all these hoops and go out of their way to kind of connect with me, for them to make these sacrifices, maybe it is possible for me. It's the same way with you. Sometimes I go back to like being that little boy in the hallway that I ever heard that teacher tell my mom that I wasn't high school material. Then I have to remind myself like, no, 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 that, that, no that, that's not true. I am that. I can do that. I can achieve that. Sometimes I have to remind myself, what am I telling you? Like life can be hard, life can be rough, but there's something special and there's something powerful about the human mind and about the human spirit and about the human will when you tell yourself, I won't give up, I won't surrender, I won't quit, I'm going to show up every single day and do the best that I can. And here's the beautiful thing about you, is while you're going through your process and while you're trying to navigate these waters and while you're still, you know, trying to tweak some stuff within yourself, you still got the power to save somebody else's life. You got the power to speak up for others. You got the power to be the voice of reason for someone who might be on the verge of doing something they shouldn't do. You have the power to brighten somebody's day. Your words are powerful. Your energy is powerful. And so I don't want you all to think that you have to have it all together and everything for you has to be perfect in order for you to be a leader. No, 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 no. You can make an impact. You can make a difference. You can save somebody's life right now by you just being unapologetically you and you walking in that calling and you speak life and you affirm and you let others know I see you and I'm with you and I got your back and you're not by yourself and I will hold your hand as you go throughout this journey and even though I'm struggling I don't mind fighting on behalf of you and we're gonna figure this thing out together key words together we're gonna figure this thing out together there's something beautiful about us having that mindset of us being together you know what I'm saying? Not black, white, Asian, Hispanic, not Republican, Democrat, independent, not gay or straight, not like male or female, like us coming together saying, man, we are human, we are here. And I believe that there is more that makes us together, there is more than we have in common than we have that's not in common. And I believe that our differences is what makes us so doggone amazing. Our differences. Think about that, right? Like there are so many amazing things and there are so many different amazing personalities and there is nobody else on this planet exactly like you. So I believe that we make a decision to say, you know what, we will come together as a people. We will come together as a 
We will come together as a state. We will come together as a city. We will come together as a district. We will come together as a school. We will come together as a grade. We will come together as a class and we will value each other. We will speak life to one another and we will help each other go to that next level. You know what, I'm not just a student. You know what I'm saying? That just happened to me this grade. I'm not just here at the school. I'm here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tell yourself, man, I feel like I've been pushed down in the dirt. I feel like people have been stuffing on me. I feel like stuff has been raining on me. But you didn't realize this, my young friends. You was just a seed. So you gotta tell yourself, no, 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 no. I haven't been pushed down in the dirt and I haven't been stuffed on. I've been planted and I've been placed in this pot for a reason. And we are at this arena here to be able to have a conversation to say, what does it look like to go to that next level? And so I need you all to do the same thing. When you leave here, if you feel like you're in a weird place, if you feel stuck, if you feel like, you know what, I, I just feel like I need some help, you get the help you need. That's how you show how strong and how bold and how powerful you are. What's the next act that you're gonna create? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I wonder, like, you know what I'm saying? Are you going to come up with a cure for Alzheimer's dementia? Are you going to come up, you know what I'm saying, with something that can purify water for people across the globe? Are you going to create the next app that can connect us? Are you going to be the next teacher or superintendent? Are you going to be the next leader in our community? Like, like I be wondering sometimes, like, what are the great things that you're going to accomplish? And there are times when I look at what's happening in the world, and I'm a bit discouraged. I got a seven-year-old daughter and a one-year-old baby boy. Sometimes I look at the crazy stuff that's happening in this world, and I'm like, man, what kind of world am I raising my kids in? But then I'm encouraged because I get to come to events like this, and I get to look in your faces and connect with you, and I have no doubt that there's great things inside you and that you're going to experience some amazing things inside your life if you make a decision to say, I'm going to speak up, I'm going to stand up, I'm going to save a life. If you tell yourself, I will be a leader. If you tell yourself, I'm going to show up every single day at my school and I'm going to go above and beyond because there are some kids in some different countries, in some different places that wish they had the opportunity to be at my school, to have floors and lights, you know what I'm saying, and screens and technology. I've been some places, my young friends, where I've walked to some schools in some different countries doing some volunteer work and I'm seeing the facilities they're in. I, I, I know I've met some kids that would love to come here and be able to go to a school that has a gym or be able to go to a school that has AC or to be able to go to a school that has desks or to be able to go to school where they get their own books and there's some of y'all tablets and all these extra things. We are so privileged. What do we do with this opportunity that we have? I want to challenge you to make the most of it, to speak life, to love, to encourage, to, to, to wrap your arms around those who are struggling and you let them know, you know where you're not in this by yourself. What we're not going to do is we're not going to quit. What we're not going to do is we're not going to surrender. What we're not going to do is we're going to just, you know what I'm saying, just stay in this place. We knew that eventually things would change. Like eventually it's going to turn around for my good and we'll be stronger from it and we'll be better equipped and this will make us better people. Now you can't always control what happens to you, my friends, but you can control how you respond to it.